This is the Hover Air X1, a state-of-the-art self-flying video drone. Super light, small and compact. You can bring it with you wherever you go. It has tons and tons of great features that I will show you in a bit. In a nutshell, just press start. It will operate itself and create incredible photos and videos for you. And best of all, during the Amazon Prime Day, you can get this for an incredible price. So if you like what you see, then definitely check out all the deals in the description below. And especially if you're looking for a new video drone with a massive discount, well, then look no further. Only during the prime days, that's July 16th and 17th, you can grab this top of the line autonomous drone for the lowest price ever. It is of course all listed and linked in the description. Happy shopping. And before I show you the best features, if you're interested in the full length, full in-depth review, including the unboxing, the accessories overview, my first First impressions, a close overview, as well as a detailed app walkthrough, then check out the first video about the Hover Air X1 out. Check it out right here, because in this one, I will just demo the autonomous features and test out the capabilities of this device full on. They say it is super user friendly. We will test that. They say it is light, compact and travel friendly, even pocket sized. We will test that. And they say it is intelligent, smart and hands free. We will test that. So let's take it outside and let's go. Got the new drip from Hover Air, the X1 self-flying drone camera, but you already know. So first of all, let me show you how to operate it. So after connecting to the drone through the app and setting it all up, Current mode, hover. as you can see, or here the drone will also talk to us. Aside from the status LED, it will tell you which mode it's in. You can dial in specific settings for each mode. Actually, you don't even need to do that because all the out of the box settings are actually pretty dope. You just connect to the drone with one click, connect and just like that we are connected. So you can either change the behavior through the app just like that Zoom out. or on the drone itself with this button. You can cycle through Follow. the modes Orbit. just like that. And as you saw, in fact, you can also manually control it, but this is just for fun or for the more experienced pilots out there. So I will not go into detail, but it is possible. But of course, the main use case scenario are all the pre-programmed flight paths. So again, all you do is turn on the drone, select a flight path or a mode. I will pick the hover. And to start it up, all you need to do is to press the start button once, then just extend your arm. It will go for a countdown and then start. And just like that, it will get you in frame. And when you're done, just extend your arm again and it will land. Of course, this works best outdoors, but just to demonstrate the extreme user friendliness, this is next level user friendly. So yeah, user friendliness, check. This is literally the most user friendly drone ever. No question about that. Before testing all the modes, let me give you an overview. And as you can see right here, there are quite a few of them. And aside from further configuring the settings, we can also tap here and then take a look. We have an introduction right here and even a video of the effect preview. Looks just like that, it's just hovering. And right here we can, we can change the settings. So that's the hover mode. It will just hover in front of you and track you. You can move and it will keep you in frame. This is what they call a basic mode. The next basic mode is the zoom out feature. After starting up, it will fly away from you. As you can see, the drone will just fly away, take a video, and it looks just like that. That's a really cool effect. And for further settings, we have all of that. It's also great for vertical reels for Instagram or TikTok. The next basic mode is the follow mode. The behavior in the follow mode is after starting, it will track you and also keep flying after you. So you can go or even run and the drone will keep following you. It looks really cool. So this is one of my most favorite modes. Not to forget, we have these settings right there. All right, next we have the orbit. So after starting up, it will circle around you. It will look just like that. Doing this on various positions is great for cool transitions. And we have the settings right there. So we can not only change the radius, but also the altitude. The last basic mode is the bird's eye. As you can see, this can be used for laying down, for example. And after starting it up, the drone will just fly upwards, as you can see right here. And it will always complete the flight path and then, of course, return to you. And then it will wait for you to extend your hand and then it will land on your hand. Getting to the more advanced modes, they call it skilled. We have this snapshot right there. Let's take a look and it will work like that. Take a picture and here we have all the settings. On the drone, we have a star for the custom mode and you can switch between dolly mode or actually dolly track and the snapshot. And talking about dolly track, let's take a look. This is basically the reverse of the following mode. The follow mode will follow you but the dolly mode will actually fly away from you. So as you can see, you can walk towards the drone and it will 
keep the same distance from you and you can select the distance as well as the altitude right here. Really cool for experimenting for getting really nice videos. And as you can see down here, we have two new flight paths. So they work on delivering more flight paths as well. So let's check that out. Tap to unlock. We have the manual control. And lastly, that's looking really cool. Side track. Let's check that out. Oh, it is actually still locked and also smart control, which is also still locked. So without further ado, let's take it outside and test all the modes. So here we go, check it out. It's actually inside of my pocket. Pocket size confirmed. Let me grab it, unfold it, turn it on. Let's switch it to the right mode and let's start it right away. The red light will tell me when it's taking the video, but actually, Let me briefly check the settings. Let's connect to the drone and let's see. We have hover. Yeah, good thing that I checked. We of course want the max resolution. The rest looks great. So here we go. Once again, hover mode. Lift off like that. There we go. And as you can see, it will track me and that's the hover mode. And even though it is extremely cloudy today, it's doing a great job video wise. The quality is just amazing. And even if I'm running around in a fast fashion. It will keep tracking me. And when I'm done, simple as that. So that was the hover mode. Next up. Zoom out. Zoom out mode. Once again, max quality and the distance. Let's go for six meters. Then you can see the hill a bit more. And let's do it over there. And let's go. This is the zoom out mode. Look at that six meters and you can go even further away and when it's done it will come back and then I can simply collect it just like that. And it is extremely fast to go for a few of them. So let's do it once more in this direction. And there we go. Just clapping for the sound sync. Look at that. So cool. And it will return to me. Too many mosquitoes man. Unbelievable. One flight path. Just take seconds and you can do many, many of them. Next, one of my favorites, the follow mode. Max quality, flat shot. You can also go for low or high. Distance is standard. Let's go for, oh yeah, that sounds good. So let's start it up and then I will move around a bit. All right, let's go. And as you can see, when I'm walking, it will just follow me around and I can run. That's no problem running down this hill. So even changes in altitude. It can handle all of that. Okay, a bit more, a bit more. And now, just like that. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Running away from the mosquitoes, perfect. And the drone, as you can see, is really fast and also really precise. And when I'm done, just like that. Nice. Let's go for one more with the far distance. Here you can see my setup. So now we have a bit of a bigger video. It's so fast, it's crazy. <laughs> come on, come on. All right. Next, we have the orbit. That's also a cool mode. And I will go for a large radius. Six meters, I think we can do that so that you get a good look of the hill. Max quality, let's go. The rest is looking good. And we only need one rotation, I think. I will do it over there. Okay. Okay, now it's going away. Starting the recording and starting the orbit. Look at that, isn't that awesome? It's currently flying on eyesight altitude and it's actually, no, I thought it was going to fly into the tripod. Phenomenal. Oh, we're actually getting a bit of sunshine back there. That's great to see. And when it's done, it will of course come back to me, ready for collecting. All right, good stuff. And imagine that it can do all of that without GPS. Let's go for bird eye next. Five meters, seven meters. Let's go for seven, max quality. We can even go for a rotation. That's nice. Let's try that. And another flight path. We are at around 50% of battery now. Please hold the device oh. to face the user. Right. It will always have to get a good view of you because you're basically the GPS replacement. All right. There we go with the bird eye. And as you can see, it's slowly rotating. That's a lovely effect. You can also lay down, for example. And it's even better when you go higher. It is so incredibly fast. We can actually just take another one. This time with the max altitude. 
of 15 meters, why not? And there we go, all the way up to 15 meters. And as you can see, experimenting between modes is so fast and so simple. And you can do it a lot of times, especially if you bring a second battery that will also fit inside of the bag. Well, I think we can do a few more and then it's time to replace the battery. And if you bring a power bank, with the dual charging hub, then you can basically go indefinitely. Still two out of four LED dots. As you can see by now, I have unlocked all the other skills as well. The snapshot will just take a picture, so we will skip that. Much more interesting is the dolly track, of course. Let's check the settings. Let's go for max quality. Altitude flat shot, that's fine. Standard distance looks good. Let's Custom see. So, I think this is one of the coolest modes. Most versatile and best Standard looking. So check this out. Yeah, now I can walk and it will keep the distance. Let me adjust the angle for this one because you can only go forward. It's currently not possible, it seems, to do a curve. You just have to go in a straight line. So let's do it. And now you can go or maybe you can even, yes, you can even run and it will fly away from me. And when you extend the hand, it will eventually notice that and then fly back to you and land on your hand. I will do it once again into the other direction so that you can see the landing procedure a, a bit better. So there we go. And when I'm done, I just extend my hand. It will turn off the video and fly to me. So as you can see, this mode involves a much higher skill needed by the drone. And same goes for the other skills. Next up, we have the side track. Max quality, side track. Almost out of battery. Let's see. Standard side track. Yes, sir. And as you can see, we have direct sunlight now. So perfect lighting conditions. And this is the side track. Wow, wow, <laughs> works really nicely. And the other way, and when I move away from the drone, oh, it will actually follow me. When I move towards it, it will move uh, away from me. Well, other way around, but wow, wow. This is working nicely. Cool, really cool. Wow, they did a great job with this new mode. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, yes. I think I will change the battery right now. So turning it off and there we go. So out with the old, in with the new. And as you can see also this one, this process just takes a few seconds at most and we are back in business. Let's connect to it once again. It's so fast. And by the way, when we access the drone, we can also change all the settings that are pre-programmed on the drone. Let's go for the last mode, which is smart control. And now this popped up the follow type. We can select between back figure or dolly track. Let's go for max quality. So we have way more parameters right there. Oh, wow. You can also control the other modes extremely fast. That's nice. But yeah, since you already know that, let's just go for a quick test. Standard smart control. And let's just see what will happen. So I think it should do the dolly track. So now when I move towards it, it will move backwards. And what will happen when I Oh wow, in the smart in the smart mode, it can now also do curves. So it's now doing this side. All right, so in the smart mode, it's doing all sorts of things. Seems like a mixture of modes, but again, from the behavior, it looks really promising. So you can walk away from it, you can walk towards it, and you can even do the sideways action. But it will also somewhat follow you in a curve. So this is definitely an interesting mode for experimenting. I think you can get really cool and creative shots with the smart mode. And again, running around a bit, we have a fresh battery on 100%, so why not? With a charger battery, we will get a max runtime of around 11 minutes, so that's plenty. That's a fairly long walk, if you ask me. So, great battery life. 11 minutes of running up and down the hill, definitely not going to do that. But as you saw, especially with the sun poking the head out, let me show you, with a bit of direct sunlight, you will actually get spectacular images with this incredibly tiny drone. Check this out. <laughs> the drone is super fast, just unbelievable. And again, when you're done, just extend your arm. So there we have it. Expect even more flight modes in the future. There are tons of possibilities with this thing. So I think they can improve this product way more. So I can highly recommend it. Massive thumbs up from my side. The X1 is awesome. 
Just look at this thing. Not only is it a design marvel, the build quality is outstanding, but what's even better are its capabilities. I have never seen anything like this before. It looks like a toy, but it's actually a serious tool. As you saw the videos that it can take look superb and professional. In other words, it is a complete game changer when it gets to ease of use, quality of flight, quality of footage, pre-programmed flight paths, and even the stability while taking videos. And on top of that, it has great safety features and a great companion app on top, which can be used to customize every flight path setting in detail. And there is even an option for a sound recording through the app, through the phone that you can turn on in the app. And this way you can use the phone to record your voice while the drone is filming you. And by now it also has the newest noise suppression features or noise filtering algorithms that will filter out the propeller noise. And all the audio recordings will of course automatically get synced to the video, which is of course super handy. The X1 definitely is a fun and easy to use drone that can bring a lot of joy into your life and also capture your precious and exciting moments forever. It's great for memorable and shareable content that just looks good. And yeah, as you saw, it's just simple and fun to use it. Moreover, it can be used everywhere. There is no GPS required. Just launch it from your palm, let it take the flight and land it in your palm again. So it's definitely great for everyone who is enjoying recording and sharing moments of your life or adventures. As you saw, it is also super portable. You can bring it everywhere you go very easily. Great design, great build quality. And with just one battery, with just one charge, you can flight for around 11 minutes of raw flight time, which is around 20 flight paths. And it even comes with a second battery and a dedicated dual charging hub. So you can parallel charge the packs, fly while charging. And what's great too is of course the fact that you don't need extra time for setting up the shot after the liftoff, which also takes quite a bit of time and battery percentage away from you. So 11 minutes of raw flight time is actually 11 minutes of quality video time. So thanks to the self-flying capabilities, it is always spot on right off the bat, right after liftoff. So yeah, all in all, the X1 is a definite drippy. Check out the product links in the description below. I will listen link the best deals for you. Don't miss the prime day. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.